experience is honestly a new chapter of something for multi rotors. Uh, to, to be able to have kids go into the hobby and to aspire for bigger things is always the goal of flight test. To see them now aspire to actually fly a manned multi rotor. Everybody who owns the game can uh, not only play uh, the Drone Champions League uh, locations and races, but also experience that big drone and qualify for that uh, real races through the draft selection where the best 300 players actually uh, are invited to London, where the teams then pick um, out of this pool the new pilots for the season. We spent roughly at least one month full work on this drone because we had two different drones, one prototype and the second one is here in the back. The first one was much heavier, it was about 200 kilos something and this one is way lighter because we want to put a person inside it, so we had to make it lighter. It's all carbon made, so it's a strong structure as well and there was a long way towards here, not just for being in Switzerland and then coming to Croatia, but also, of course, it's a lot of testing by the technical point of view, mechanical point of view, electronic point of view. All of this together, thanks to the team, the DCL team, that we made it working, but there was a big road. Flying the big drone, it's very similar uh, flying the small drone, of course, as talking about the controlling point of view, because you have the same remote, at the moment we have the same remote. But of course, you have to think about the weight of this machine. This machine is like uh, way heavier than a small drone, of course, and then uh, even a, uh, an X-Class, of course, like way bigger. So the, the time of response of this drone is way longer. So you have to think about the movements that the drone is going to do, and you have to control it way before. So that, that way of piloting it is, takes a bit of time, of course, at the beginning. But when I, got, uh, the, when I understood how to make it fly, then I got into it. All the flights we have done until now, they were really, really good. We just, of course, as always, had a little few issues sometimes that we had to fix, but that's something that I'm happy that there were these issues. Otherwise, if everything is 100% perfect, there will be an issue someday and maybe it's gonna be bigger than what we had, so I'm happy about it.